It's my birthday recently. For my birthday, I got a humidifier and a dehumidifier. <laughs> Put them in the same room, let them fight it out. <laughs> then I filled my humidifier with wax. Now my room's all shiny. I went to a museum where they had all the heads and arms from the statues that are in all the other museums. <laughs> I had trouble going home from there because I had parked my car on a towaway zone when I came back. The entire area was gone. <laughs> Everywhere is walking distance if you have the time. <laughs> they should iron this. <laughs> I used to work for the factory where they make hydrants, but you couldn't park anywhere near the place. <laughs> so. I used to be a proofreader for a skywriting company. Years ago, I worked in a natural organic health food store in Seattle, Washington, and one day a man walked in and he said, if I melt dry ice, can I swim without getting wet? <laughs> I said, I don't know, let me ask Tony. <laughs> Two days later, I was fired for eating cotton candy and drinking straight Bosco on the job. So I figured I'd leave the area, because I had no ties there anyway, except for this girl I was seeing. We had conflicting attitudes. I really wasn't into meditation. She really wasn't into being alive. <laughs> I told her I knew when I was going to die, because my birth certificate has an expiration date on it. I decided to leave and go to California, so I packed up my Salvador Dali print of two blindfolded dental hygienists trying to make a circle on an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> and I headed for the highway and began hitching. Within three minutes, I got picked up by one of those huge trailer trucks carrying 20 brand new cars. I climbed up the side of the cab and he opened the door and the guy said, I don't have much room in here, I want to get in one of the cars and back. So I did. He's really into picking up people because he picked up 19 more. <laughs> we all had our own cars. <laughs> then he went 90 miles an hour, we all got speeding tickets. <laughs> I had the photograph on my license taken out of focus on purpose. So when the police do stop me, they go. Here, you can go. If sometimes you can't hear me, it's because sometimes I'm in parentheses. bought some powdered water, but I don't know what to add. <laughs> I'm entering the stranger sweepstakes. It's a contest. You pay 50 cents, you get a little card that has a number on it, and then you go up to any stranger. You scratch a penny on his head. <laughs> if the number under there matches the number you have, you win $100. I won twice. I was beat up 11 times. <laughs> I'm saving the money, though, because I'm planning a trip to Spain, so I bought an album that teaches you the language. You put the album on, you put headphones on, you learn the language while you're sleeping. During the night, the record skipped. <laughs> I got up the next day, I could only stutter in Spanish. <laughs> When I go, I'm flying, I'm flying Air Bazaar. It's a good airline, by a combination one-way round-trip ticket. You leave any Monday, they bring you back the previous Friday. 
That way you still have the weekend. <laughs> I'm going to court next week. I have been selected for jury duty. It's kind of an insane case. 6,000 ants dressed up as rice and robbed a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I don't think they did it. I know a few of them and they wouldn't do anything like that. I lost a buttonhole. Where am I gonna get a buttonhole? I stayed up one night playing poker with tarot cards. I got a full house and four people died. I have a telescope on the peephole on my door so I can see who's at the door for 200 miles. Who isn't? Who is it gonna be when you get here? I got an answering machine for my phone. Now when I'm not home and someone calls me up, they hear a recording of a busy signal. <laughs> I like to leave messages before the beep. Sorry, my mind was wandering. One time my mind went all the way to Venus and ordered a meal I couldn't pay for. <laughs> I have a map of the United States, it's actual size. It says one mile equals one mile. People ask me where I live, I say E5. Where do you live? E5. I bought one of those little glass ball things with the snow in it. You turn it upside down, then you turn it back, and it starts snowing. I bought one. Except the one I have has a little plow in it that comes out and does the roads. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Last night I was in a bar, and I walked up to this beautiful woman, and I said, Do you live around here often? <laughs> she said, You're wearing two different color socks. I said, yes, but to me they're the same, because I go by thickness. <laughs> and she said, how do you feel? And I said, well, you know, when you're sitting on a chair and you lean back, so you're just on two legs, and then you lean too far, and you almost fall over, but just at the last second you catch yourself. I feel like that all the time. <laughs> I broke a mirror in my house and I'm supposed to get seven years bad luck, but my lawyer thinks he can get me five. <laughs> I finally went to the eye doctor, I got contacts, but I only need them when I read, so I got flip-ups. <laughs> I keep them on my desk right next to my typewriter. I have the oldest typewriter in the world. Types in pencil. <laughs> Under my bed, I have a shoebox full of telephone rings, and whenever I get lonely, I open it up just a little bit, and I get a call. <laughs> One time, I dropped the box all over the floor, and the phone wouldn't stop ringing. So I had to have it disconnected. I got another phone, though. I didn't have much money, so I had to get an irregular phone. It had no five on it. The phone had no number five. I was walking down the street and I bumped into a good friend of mine. He said, how come you never call me anymore? I said, I can't call everyone I want. My phone has no five on it. He said, that's really weird. He said, how long have you had it? I said, I don't know. My calendar has no sevens. <laughs> <laughs> 